I know they're horrible, but they're not that bad. And it's just a few minutes in the morning. Oh, I get a good view, but I just couldn't give up my, my warm showers. I love my warm showers. This is an instant gratification mindset. And I think what it stems from is a mixture of not truly understanding the benefits, not being motivated to improve your life, and not knowing how to make it into a habit and stick to it. Because it seems like a no brainer to go through maybe three to five minutes of discomfort in the morning if it makes the rest of your day happier and more productive. But people don't want to. So I'm going to tell you today why you should have cold showers and uh, what the science says about what they do to your body. Okay, here's what happens when you have a cold shower. You step in, you turn the cold tap on, or you put the cold tap on first and then you step in. I'm not going to control your life. And when you feel the water hit your body, you'll, you'll tense up and your, your breathing will stiffen. And this is because the cold triggers a stress response in your body, the fight or flight response, where cortisol and noradrenaline and adrenaline all spike and your body responds. Now, this response is the center for most of the benefits of cold showers. Stress is usually considered bad, but in small amounts and small bursts, it's good for you. One study, for example, which took a bunch of workers and then put them on a roller coaster every morning, found that this fight or flight response uh, results in a lasting increase in productivity and alertness and focus throughout the day, and it decreases stress. Cold showers will dramatically improve your immune system. How this works is this stress response stimulates the innate immune system which is the immune system responsible for fighting all antigens, pathogens. It does this by stimulating the recruitment of immune cells to prime the body against infection. The cold water also stimulates your lymph vessels to contract, which promotes the movement of fluid and uh, aids the removal of toxins. Cold showers are known to help depression, and there are a couple of theories for this. So your skin contains a dense array of cold receptors, and when you go in a cold shower, they're all triggered and simulated at once. And this sends a real jolt of uh, electrical signals to your brain, which is thought to have antidepressive effects. Cold showers have also been found to stimulate an increase in dopamine, similar to what you'd get if you took cocaine, uh, about 250%. But the difference between this and cocaine is, usually after taking drugs, your dopamine levels will crash to below your baseline. But cold showers result in a sustained increase of about three hours. Cold showers also help us with long-term stress management. When we encounter different stressful experiences throughout the day, our mind plays a role in deciding whether it's tolerable or overwhelming. So over time, exposing ourselves to a small amount of stress every morning will raise this tolerance threshold um, and, and make us comfortable in higher states of stress. Now, probably the biggest benefit on our physical health that cold showers bring is how they affect your circulatory system. Our body contains millions of tiny little muscles in our capillaries. When these muscles are left unstimulated, they become weaker and the heart has to compensate by pumping more than it should. This isn't so much a problem for younger people, but as you age, it increases uh, risk of cardiovascular diseases. Now, when you step into a cold shower, all of the tiny muscles in your blood vessels in the outside of your body will constrict and those in the deeper tissues and organs will relax, promoting oxygenated blood to flow to your vital organs. And then when you step out a cold shower and dry and warm up, the reverse will happen. These tiny muscles will relax and blood will flow back. This alternation of contraction and relaxation will over time strengthen these muscles and lead to more efficient pumping of the heart and flow of blood through your body. Taking cold showers in the morning is gonna increase your metabolism a lot. And this will help with both weight loss and just generally staying warm in the winter and in cold environments. I can now comfortably go through all of winter in a t-shirt and I can even do this. I, I can snowboard in swimming trunks in a Hawaiian shirt. The way this works is you have two types of fat in your body. The normal white fat, which is for energy storage and brown fat. Brown fat is where a lot of glucose is burnt to produce heat. So one study found that short ice baths will increase glucose uptake in this brown fat by a factor of 15. That's huge. Another study which just exposed participants to cold air for two hours found that there was an average increase in their basal metabolic rate 
of around 250 calories, up to 500 in some people. So hopefully I have convinced you that it's worth sacrificing just a few minutes in the morning to get all of the benefits I just discussed from cold showers. If you're wondering how cold the water should be, I have a simple answer for that. It needs to be cold enough that you want to get out and it's uncomfortable, but it needs to be not so cold that you can't stay in it safely. But how do you actually start having them? Well, there are two ways. The way I used is I just decided one day to turn the cold tap all the way and force myself in. But this is quite hard and uh, an easier way to start is just to have your normal warm shower, but for 30 seconds at the end, turn it to cold. And each time you have a shower, you add 10 more seconds of cold at the end until you eventually build up to about two minutes. Uh, to cope with the cold, you can use any method you like. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can distract yourself, get yourself psyched up, or just kind of embrace it. It won't affect the benefits that you get from cold showers. The sole purpose of this video was to get more people to have cold showers because they're good for you and I want more people to be healthy and live better lives. So I hope it's helped you. Good luck.